For the most parts, you will either use a hand microphone known as the hand mic or a lavalier mic, which is a smaller and attached to your clothing. For the hand mic, there is a right way and a wrong way to hold it. In the one hand, you will hold your mic, leaving your other hand free to hold your notes. So don't get into the habit of holding your mic with both hands. And even if you never use notes, still, you don't want to hold it with both hands. Don't place your mic too close to your mouth, as the singers do on MTV. You will pop your ps and hiss your s. Don't place your mic too far away from mouth, you won't be heard. So let's find out the best way for you to use the mic. You can determine the exact placement of your mic if you put the tips of your thumb against the bottom of your chin. Your mic should be at the level where your pinky points to the chest. You don't want to cover your mouth with a mic. It should be approximately 10 cm from the bottom of your chin. Where should you stand during the interview? Try to stand near the camera so that when your interviewee would stand in front of you, he or she would look not straight at the camera as I do now, but at you. This look is usual during interviews and it's not so embarrassing like looking straight at the camera or somewhere to sideways. Don't forget about the background. You don't want any watches to be seen, because when you do the montage, arrows may start jumping, and this is something that viewers usually note. Of course, be aware of smoke that can come out of your interviewee's head, or even horns that may appear in some situations. When you interview more than one person, for example, doing a Vox Populi, try to change positions. If you film on interview standing at the left side of camera, Next time, film standing on the right side. Make sure that for every interview you have different background. If you interview more than one person in one place, try to turn a bit to left or to right, and your background will change. This way you will have more dynamics and it will be easier to make montage later. It is always good to make a cutaway shot. Without it, the visuals would show an obvious jump that would reveal in edit. Here is an example of interview without cutaway. We can clearly see how the head is jumping as we put this interview from different parts to one sequence. But when we have cutaways, we can cover these jumps with it. Cutaways allow smooth transition through the interview and editing of unwanted words or phrases. How to do cutaways? They are usually filmed after the interview. Just stay for some time after you finish interviewing in the same position as you were during your interview. Have a chat with your guest and let your camera operator do the job. The last but not least, never give your mic to interviewee, no matter how much he or she would like to take it. Remember that you are the owner of the microphone, otherwise you will lose control and your interviewee most likely will not know how to hold the mic correctly. So, Try yourself to do an interview and think of my position, where you should stand during filming. Don't forget about the background and do some cutaways. Good luck!